Hey, as you guys can see by the title, we are back in 2K17 today for my first 2K17 video, and we're trying to make every shot in my career mode, bro. You guys showed mad love on the 2K15 version. I figured why not bring you to another classic 2K17. So without further ado, we're about to dive into this my career where I make every single shot. Hey, shout out to Kobe, man. Legend edition. Hey, first things first, bro. I had to dive back into the rosters. We are in 2016, as everybody knows. This is the year going after the Cavs came back from down 3-1 in the NBA Finals. And then the Warriors had to go and grab KD in free agency. Well, he chose them, they grabbed them, whatever you want to say. So it was interesting looking at all the rosters, man. This is the prime Rockets. Kawhi's last years on the Spurs. It was greatness going on around the league, bro. So I'm excited to dive into this My Career series. Hey, in the comment section, let me know some of your favorite memories from 2K17. I know a lot of y'all, this might have been your first 2K if you're younger. In today's video, I'm using Jabari Cook. If you're familiar with my 2K23 series, you guys know Ty Cook. Well, this is his older brother. And listen, 2K started to implement a lot of different hairstyles in this game, but I decided to go with the waves, man. You can never go wrong. Hey, man, as the title indicates, I'm not missing a shot. So, of course, I was thinking between either a shooting guard or a small forward. Am I going to be like a Klay Thompson, a Jimmy Butler, James Harden, or am I going to be a LeBron James KD build? And I decided to go with a shooting guard. I said, why not, bro? Next to the point guard. Hey, bro, this kind of bring back some nostalgia, bro, going through this little playmaking, player making screen, bro. I'm kind of deciding what archetype I'm going to be. Obviously, I'm going to make every shot so it really doesn't matter, but I decided to still go with shot creator just so I could fit the player build. Hey, if you remember, comment down below what your player builds were back in the day, bro. Remember, this is when they first started introducing Reducing how you had to adjust the height and the wingspan to get the perfect attributes and all that kind of stuff. So I went with a 6'7", long wingspan, skinny build. And normally, long wingspan means you can't shoot, but hey, in today's video, everything's going in. And y'all remember, that every time you made a My Player on this game, the Kobe and Michael B. Jordan cutscene would come up. And rest in peace to Kobe, man. Listen, you couldn't skip it. But obviously, shout out to Kobe. They showed his low light starting off his career where he airballed against the Jazz. But then obviously, we already know the highlights when him and Shaq teamed up and they won three championships back to back to back. And we already know the legend of Kobe Bryant, but he went on to win five chips. Rest in peace to the mom. It's kind of ironic I dropped this video and 824 just passed, man. So, hey, salute to y'all. Give me y'all favorite Kobe memory in the comments. But obviously, we here from my career. Bro. I'm trying to be the next Kobe. I'm trying to be the next greatest player in NBA history. And it starts here, starring Jabari Cook. You know, they showed the little highlight mixtape. I couldn't really play the audio because, you know, copyright. But listen. I guess I was going crazy in high school. I had the little Nikes on, Lower Valley. I think that's a little play on Lower Marion High School from Kobe. You already know. Hey, High School All of Marion, Miller Views on my mixtape. Here we go, y'all. First cutscene. Not bad, right? Oh, I know I didn't teach you that. Oh, you definitely didn't teach me that. No, I learned that in AAU and Summer Ball. Oh, come on. There's no. You know where you're going yet? Mike? You're not going to tell me? Not yet. This is a big decision. What college am I gonna pick? Hey, decision time. I had to pick a university where I could dominate at, where I could put them on the map, where I could take over and showcase my skills. And I only had one choice. Four seconds with Jason Richmond. The number one high school player in the country has chosen the Georgetown Hoyas. In a particularly clever video, he recorded with an American flag draped behind in some homage to the president, apparently. Who knows? Maybe this kid aspires to be the president of basketball. I don't know what kids these days think, but I do think this kid has potential. Hey, y'all remember the Jason Richmond dude? He was kind of a mix between Skip and Stephen A. He was a dude that followed your whole career, kind of low-key hating, but it's all good. But as he mentioned, I chose Georgetown, and we know we got Midnight Madness coming up. So let's get it, bro. You ready, boy? Let's do it. Huh? Let's get it. All right? Yeah. That's what I like to see. Make sure you're ready for that pass, all right? All day. All, all right. day. All Press. day. What's up, coach? You hear that? Oh, yeah. You feeling that? Yep. I'm pumped. You ready to change this program overnight? Let's do it. These people are excited to meet the new kingdom here, buddy. All right. Now, these fans can be your best friend or your worst enemy, all right? Head coach would never tell you this, but when you get out there tonight, I want you to put on a show. Win this crowd over. Let's okay? do it. You know, my dad used to say, show him what you got, and I got something for him tonight. <laughs> Coach gotta let that hair go, bro. It's, 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 it's time, bro. Just go ahead and cut it all off. But nonetheless, Coach trying to let me know what's going on. Coach trying to let me know that we can't, bro. Coach, I'm coming here to make every single shot. This is just a stepping stone to get to the NBA, bro. They don't know what I'm about to bring to Georgetown, bro. The crowd is hype. It's midnight. Everybody's lit. They just think I'm some high school All-American recruit that's gonna come in and maybe do a little bit. But hey. I mean, I'm bad. 
when we have the president on our team. So again, I can't lie to y'all, bro. The only thing I really did not like about this career is the president, bro. I was not feeling the whole president thing, but nonetheless, I came in ready to set the tone, bro. I'm telling y'all, it was straight bakery session. Everything was going in. I'm cooking up. I'm just getting steel. And uh, this is my own team. I can't even get that hype in transition. I, ain't gonna, I don't got really much of a dunk package. I got a little rim grazer, but you know I'm getting up. I'm 6'7 with a long wingspan. I'm putting on a show for our home crowd. I'm letting them know this is a preview of what's to come. Put me on the court against real teams. I'm ready to cook. I cooked up against the little second squad we played against. First squad versus second squad. I'm getting steals. I'm doing everything. I see my boy Alabaster cut behind me. Oh! I, I could pass too now. Don't force my hand. Listen, I'm making every shot, but I'm not going to hesitate to get my teammates involved, bro. I got to get my draft stock up, bro. At the end of the day, I'm low key trying to be the number one pick if possible. So I'm still throwing lobs, bro. Everybody eating and everybody getting involved. The crowd is hype. I'm hyping the crowd up, and I'm ready to get the season started, bro. I've never I felt can... that type of energy in an arena, man. <laughs> Wait for the first game. It's only one way to pass the time. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. The game. Gang, you ready to get dusted off? Maybe enough ready? as it is, and I don't know where you get it from. Your daddy was as big as a house. Yeah, I know, but the feeding is pretty good here. We have these meal plans, too. Listen, rank 2K17's cutscenes, bro, amongst all 2Ks in my careers. But as you can see, after my Midnight Madness performance, they put me in the lottery before the season even really starts. But game one, I'm going against Buddy Hill, bro. Y'all remember Buddy Hill used to cook in this, but I'm here now. The big kahuna is here. Now, I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. I couldn't get a shot off at first, bro. I had to pass the ball. It was, it was Loki sending the second dude at me before I even took a shot. It was getting kind of wild, but nonetheless, later on in the first half, I got it started. I finally took my first shot, but I promise you, I didn't take a shot yet. Right here, I get the steal, and I'm going in transition. Y'all already know. Listen, wide open dunk. I'm gonna make that. I'm not gonna miss a dunk. And I know the objective is literally to make shots. But they was letting me get loose in transition. It was kind of weird. Right here, I pull up for a little mid-range shot. Hey, late contest. Hey, is that a flagrant, bro? He tried to cut under my knees, bro. Under my legs. Nonetheless, I find my open teammates, bro. I, I can't lie, bro. I'm naturally unselfish, bro. So if I see somebody open, I'm a passing it right here, bro. I don't know why Buddy was trying to score on me, dog. Y'all know I get the blocks and the paint, bro. And right here, I'm filling the lane correctly. I'm running to the three-point line. You already know I'm pulling it. Oh, my my first three-point making college basketball the crowd is hype i'm finding teammates cutting to the basket we putting up a show right now bro we cooking OU. you right here i'm finding my teammate cutting to the basket again i know this is about me making my shots and listen i promise i'm gonna put up more shots but i just didn't shoot a lot this game bro they was kind of covering me i had to attack the basket with ferociousness just to score i only had 11 points can't lie bro y'all probably saw my field goal percentage wasn't 100 because i accidentally took a shot with my analog stick before i changed it to my dribbling moves bro nonetheless I made every other shot. Now we in class, daydreaming about the next game. This girl keeps staring at me. I don't know what she want, bro. I guess I'm gonna find out. You can't touch me in this game. Hi. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, hey. What, what's up? I just wanted to make sure you had your part of the biology project. Yeah, I, yeah, I got it. Awesome. Can I see it? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's see. Should be in the cloud. Uh, oh. Check your phone. Hey, shorty just walked in the dorm room, bro. That's crazy. How she even get my room number? I, I guess I had to give it to her, but dang, she just barged in and stared at me on the gate. Talk about a lab project, bro. Anyway, she trying to distract me from greatness, bro. I'm cooking Arizona off the rip. Coming out. Hey, listen, last game I didn't get much shots up, so I had a purpose this game, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm here to make every single shot, bro. I know I've said it about 15 times, but on time 16, bro, I'm telling you, I mean it. Right here, I'm calling for the ball back. I got a mismatch. I don't even care who's in front of me for real. I'm just gonna pull it, fading away. I feel like I get hit a little bit on my hand, but they don't call it. It's all good, bro. We still in college. I got a point to prove, bro. I'm trying to go number one out here, bro. I got nine, was at eight points? My fault, off the rip. I got the same amount of points as Arizona has. Little hezzy move right to the basket, bro. I'm supposed to be a shooting guard just pulling shots. They can't find me in transition. I'm going straight to the basket. A little cherry pick action. Hey, I'm calling for it. I'm not afraid to attack the basket and one. Give me an extra point for that, bro. I'm hyped. And I ain't gonna lie, I definitely missed the free throw. I hope that doesn't count as a, a missed every shot, whatever. But nonetheless, I'm right here calling for it. I'm running off screens. I'm getting three pointers to go. I'm active. I'm not just pulling shots in people's face. I'm trying to get open too. This game is kind of smooth right here. Ooh, left to right cross to the. Oh, nah. They don't hit. Nah, 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 nah. They let me hit the left to right cross straight to the basket. Oh, my goodness, bro. I'm not even supposed to be moving like this, bro. I'm in college. 
Nonetheless, I dropped a nice 19 points, calm game, and the scouts are saying, hey, I could see this man still going lottery, bro. I'm like, bro, what more do I need to prove to go number one? Right here, we in the national semifinals against Kansas, and I think this is the stage I need to set the tone. I need to come out this game going crazy, getting teammates involved, doing my thing, and that's exactly what I do, bro. Hey, I got a point to prove, bro. Not only can I make every shot, but I'm a great team guy, bro. You should take me with the number one pick. I get rebounds, I push the break. I find my teammates in the quarter hitting wide open threes. I'm telling y'all, bro. Hey, I would draft me if I had the number one pick. I got nine points off the rip. I'm outscoring Kansas initially in the game. I ain't gonna lie, it started to come back a little bit. I got subbed in later in the second half and I started to cook up. I had 12 points only. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't cooking that much. And when I got back in the game, I was trying to hit Euro steps. I low-key got fouled right there, ref. They don't call my fouls, bro. It's crazy. But they leaving me wide open for pull-up threes, bro. Like, listen, I know I can make every shot, but if you just gonna give me shots, like, that's crazy, right? I'm going straight to the basket in transition. Nobody really put a hand up. You know you got to stop ball in transition, bro. That's rule number one in basketball. Right here, I get a pump fake. Oh, my. Nah. Nah. When the shot is that lethal, daddy, bro, is going for the pump fake off the triple threat. And I go right to the basket with two hands for safety. I finish with 22, 5, and 6. They're talking about I'm a real NBA talent. I'm coachable. I'm quick for my size. They call me transcendent. That's the words they only use for, like, LeBron James type players, bro. Right here, my mom's calling me before the national championship, trying to give me some words of encouragement. I'm like, mom, bro, you know I got this game. Come on, yo. I'm hype. I'm already lit, bro. I'm ready to get out this dorm room. I'm ready to get out of these brown shirt, gray pant, red generic shoes, and I'm going, oh! Off the rip in the national championship game, I'm going up, putting a poster on somebody, and somebody in the Michigan State uniform. Right here, again, I told y'all, bro, they just leave me open. Like, what What do you all want me to do? Y'all want me to miss that? Hey, we come out the gate blitzing Michigan State. They got ugly off the rip. I see my boy Alabaster just running straight to the basket. He give me a little two-tap, little toe-tap alley-oop, little pity pattern. He didn't dunk it like I wanted him to. But nonetheless, it still looked good on the highlight tape. And hey, I only got four points. I ain't gonna lie, bro. My teammates was doing all the work. I hit a little Euro step. It, was a, it looked like a little generic Euro step, but nonetheless, it's effective. I get the block and the transition. Y'all know I'm filling the lane correctly, as 2K would say. And I'm hitting the three. We up 17 to 34. They leaving me wide open for threes. Whoa, no, 2K, they, I'm glad they removed that, boo, because that was ugly. My boy was hitting the nastiest high step in game. But of course, we done saw stuff Michigan State in the National Championship. It's embarrassing. Tom Izzo's over there throwing a the fit, turning red. I Meanwhile, I'm cooking up. I'm wide open for three. Like, look how much space. Okay, that was, <laughs> my fault. That was contested. But on the other threes, y'all saw, bro? bro. They was giving me so much space, bro. I was in the galaxy, bro. Right here, I did hit a contested three. And listen, we up by what? What is that? 29? Now it's 32, bro. They leave me wide open for three. I'm hitting my crossovers. Right here, I'm trying to cook. I'm selfish. I'm feeling I'm selfish. Now I'm trying to go crazy. Now I lose the ball. I forgot I'm not AI. I'm not freaking Kyrie. I don't have all the handles. But I get the national championship game with 24, 5, and 6, or 7, or 8. I can't even remember. We win the national championship. No celebration for real. I don't know why. But, of course, I'm trying to see what they got me going in the draft, bro. If I'm still a lottery pick, I'm going to know it's rigged, bro. I know the script is real. Hey, so, good news, bro. They got your boy going top three, and now that girl from my lab class is trying to leech on to me, bro. Think about it. Just yesterday, you were doing biology projects. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You didn't believe I could get it done on time. I feel so bad about that, but you pulled through. Of course I did. <laughs> it's crazy how long ago that feels. You ever feel like everything's... <sighs> Can't wait to break up with her and chase my NBA dreams, man. Good times. <clears throat> I got to thank the person who is uh, responsible for most of the points that I've scored this year. My homie and the person that I always beat in video games, Grant Alabaster. Any words, Grant? Yo, these cutscenes were like the perfect blend of corny, yet still nostalgic and still fun. Y'all remember this is when Coach K called me up, called you up to go join the Olympic team in 2016 in the summertime. Of course, I accepted the offer. I knew I wasn't going to get much minutes, but the objective still remained the same. I'm trying to make every shot, even in warmups. Right here, I get the steal and transition. I got one objective, bro. I see all these legends running, and I'm still going for the dunk. But that's about it, bro. I didn't want to show too much from that game. I'm ready for this draft, bro. I'm ready to get to the league, bro. We are here. Will I get the number one pick? This is the year Philly, LA, and Boston had the top three picks. No matter what, I'm going to a legendary organization. But I'm trying to see where I am going in with the number one pick, the Sixers select, ha, NBA legend Ben Simmons. 
future Hall of Famer. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna joke on him, bro. Ben Simmons can turn his career around. So, with the number two pick, the LA Lakers select Jabari Cook from Georgetown. Hey, we got the number two pick. I ain't even mad. We going to the Lakers, bro. Y'all remember that Kobe just retired the year prior to this, bro. So they drafted the next legend for the squad. It only makes sense. I was 19, five and six in college. Some numbers don't really jump out like that crazy, but the Lakers saw what they needed to see out of your boy. And they know what I'm coming to bring. I'm coming with Brandon Ingram, myself. And, and who is this dude next to me, bro? I'm just joking. Enjoy the off season. <laughs> But get ready to hit it hard in the fall. Uh, we will be. Yo, Prez, we got a jet. Okay. Things to do. Who's this to you guys? Oh, that's my, my agent. Just talking to some shoe companies. Already? Yep. Good stuff, man. Thanks. Crushed it. I appreciate it. Ah, NBA legend Justice Young, bro. You guys know he spawned on every team you were with. No matter where you go, he goes. And listen, he was always hating on you, bro. Yes, I have an agent. I'm an NBA draft prospect, bro. I'm sorry that you weren't, bro. I apologize, bro. Hey, I was killing the college, bro. I don't know what you was doing. You was probably watching and hating just like you are right now, bro. Come on, dog. Loosen up. You know, I was signing up for an entourage when I got drafted. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's annoying, right? I mean, I wouldn't know, Mr. President. All right, see you around next. All right, buddy. I mean, I can't shake these reporters. Don't worry about that. Keep an eye on your teammates. Those are the guys that'll hold you up. Oh, there he is. There he is. What's up, man? What's up, man? Denver, hey. I just got picked up. Denver, oh, what's up? I heard you were coming through. Nice to meet you, man. Nice I'm, to meet uh, you, man. I'm, I'm... Everybody knows you, man. Prez, President. Prez, yeah. even you know the nickname, huh? It's a catchy name. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, my boy Denver Levins, bro. The Hall of Fame water boy turned two-way, turned one-way, three-way player. Coming off the bench for any team you on. Hey, listen, but we finally here, bro. I'm in my little warehouse getting up buckets. Hey, I look kind of clean in this Lakers jersey, bro. And I got the 12s on. I'm looking fire, bro, but listen, first things first, bro, I had to get some shots up on the court. Then I had to check my rotational minutes. They talk about I'm the 11th man. I'm behind Justice. I'm a 56? How? Hey, nonetheless, I had mandatory practice before our first game. Hey, I'm not really here for practice, bro, but listen, let's see what Coach's talking about, bro. Season challenges. I guarantee you Harden is going to come prepared. So let's start with Beat the Pro. Coach talking about Harden, bro. Do we not know who I am? He talking about I'm doing three-point drill? This is what I do. Bro, <laughs> come on, yo. Y'all know I didn't miss a shot in this drill, man. It was easy. Give me the gold right now. Let me hit one more three for going home, bro. Cash, easy, gold. I'm, I'm ready, bro. Coach, what more do I want to do? He said, look, we're going to run a five-on-five -five scrimmage. I'm like, against these bums? I'm out of transition wide open. I'm pulling up for a three. I'm like, yo, coach, I make this. Cancel the scrimmage, bro. I'm ready. I head back home. I'm getting warmed up. From, I'm in a new crib. Hold on. <laughs> I just flexed, bro. I'm a rookie with two cribs. That's crazy. Nonetheless, I get a couple shots up before my first career NBA game. I'm ready to rock out, bro. Hey, before I touch the court, I see our writer in the tunnel waiting for me with some words. So, yo, Mr. President, what's up, man? I just wanted to catch you before you debut to the nation. You like how I keep dropping those presidential references into the convo? I like that. I mean, you are a writer. <laughs> so, any quotes before the game? Uh, nah, not right now. All right, all right. Laser focused. Yep. I'll jot that down. <laughs> Seriously, man. Good luck. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, I'll see you after the game. All right, I'll be here. And I'll be watching. Hey, shout out to Jay, bro. I'm ready to go. First career NBA game, we at Staples Center against the prime Houston Rockets featuring James Harden, who will be my matchup when I come off the bench. And I'm ready to go. I got big shoes to fill, bro. They're calling me the next great shooting guard in LA after Kobe just retired the year before. But look at this team, dog. There's not much to do. Bro, I just turned the ball over on my first possession after getting locked up by James Harden, bro. I, I'm a little I'm a little shook by that. But yeah, I get Yee G and Lee to set me a screen. I feel like I didn't say his name right, but I got the shot to go off the rip. My first career NBA bucket, of course, has to be a three. And I ain't gonna lie, the team is performing off the rip. I'm getting comfortable. I pull up and hit a mid-range bank shot. That's nasty. They tell me to run some play for somebody. I don't even know. Hey, coach, you drafted me to do one thing, bro. And that's to make my shots. And that's what I came here to do, y'all. Don't think it stopped just because I got to the next level. It only increased. They give me slightly more chances to shoot on here, bro. I got more space in. Look, I got James Harden guarding me. Look, this is prime James Harden. We know defense was an afterthought. And I'm cooking it right here on the post fadeaway. Oh, my butter. Yo, this shot look clean. Oh, my nasty. Right here, I pull up with a little KD pull up right in his face. 
And look, how many points do I got right now? They interviewing me before halftime, bro. It's crazy. Yo, man, they can make all the adjustments they want. It's not going to matter, man. There are certain things you can't do anything about, and my offense is definitely one of them. In fact, I challenge them to try to make some adjustments. To them. And that's just as simple as that, man. I'm a big fan. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little cocky for my first career game, but hey, when you make it every shot, you can talk like that. Whoa, that pull was crazy. That would have got me pissed if I missed that. But of course, miss isn't in my vocabulary now when I'm in the NBA. I'm getting a little nice cut off Corey Bourne, finishing with two hands at, bro, I have not missed yet. I'm telling y'all, I get a lot of Yo, I'm out here wild in this Staples Center, bro. I'm feeding off the energy of the crowd, feeding off the energy of just trickling me being in LA. I hit a little behind the back, pulling Corey Brewer face. Yo, I'm wild. I got 32. Then I'm going to the basket with two hands for safety. I got 32 at my NBA debut, and we get the W against the primetime Houston Rockets, bro. The highest overall on our team is literally a 79, bro. There's no way we just did the Rockets like that. But going he on did. Perez? Ernie and the guys in the studio want to talk to you. All right, let's get it. Hey, I ended up winning Jordan Brand Player of the Game, which means I got the post-game interview from the TNT group. And this is my first NBA game, and I'm already getting interviewed by Shaq, Chuck, and Ernie, bro. Dope. I'm hyped. 32, 5, and 9? Bro, what they want to talk to me about, man? Listen. Great for you offensively. Did you feel you had a matchup advantage on this one? Did you feel he was barbecue chicken trying to guard you down there on the post? <laughs> Of course I did, Shaq. Come on, son. Anytime I step onto the floor, there's at least one mismatch, man. If they want to double team me, that just means two of their guys are overmatched. That's just the kind of attention I demand because I'm a natural scorer at the highest level. Kind of like you almost were, man. Well, thank you for the compliment, buddy. Love you, too. Hey, enjoy your evening, all right? Yo, that, why Shaq sounds so awkward, bro? That, enjoy your night, too. Love you. That sounded crazy. I went to go check my minutes. Yo, coach doubled my minutes almost, bro. I'm getting 23 now. I'm almost the sixth man right behind the great Luol Deng. And I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I know Luol Deng had a nice little run in Chicago, bro. Shout out to the Bulls fans. But listen, we're going against the amazing all-time Derek Favors, averaging career highs of 13 and 7. So I got a big task on my hand. And I think I was a little bit nervous. Right here, I'm getting locked up by, who is that, Rodney Hood? I pull a wide up at three yards. No. Whoa, I'm a fraud. I am a fraud, bro. I missed a shot. My first career miss. What am I going to do now? Yo, I I'm sorry, y'all. I, I don't know what happened right here. I'm trying to get another shot to go. Whoa, I made that. That's crazy. I, I guess, hey, you never know, bro. I had to pull it right here. I'm doing a little pump fake from three, but uh, my confidence is a little shook, bro. Right here, I tried to shoot over Rodney Hood, and I missed again. Yo, what's going on? Right here, I hit him with a pump fake, and I get a layup to go sometimes. You got to see the ball go through the basket, I guess. All right here, I get a wide open. And, yo, 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 am I, am I a fraud? What happened? My teammates even missing layups, bro. It's crazy out here, dog. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to get to the free throw line because at this point, I'm not feeling like myself, bro. Hey, bro, I needed to make these free throws just to save face, bro. I, I might be, bro. The Lakers might have just drafted a fraud, bro. Where's my like Mike shoes at? I, I need to search it up. Oh, I only got six points in the second quarter. I'm still getting double teamed. I'm losing the ball. What am I right now? I decided to go right to the basket, and I feel like this dunk ignited me, bro. I got right around Rodney Hood, who is now turning into my arch nemesis, bro. He's my kryptonite. Right here, it's Timothy Mozgov getting to the basket. I find him for the dunk, and I think getting my teammate involved right there activated me, bro. Now I'm back. Now I'm trying to cook for real. I threw a self lob to myself. I ended up running off about 10 straight points. My recording cut out crazy enough so he missed a lot of that but i'm still cooking don't worry it's my last name indicates i'm here to still make my shots bro don't let the missus fool you bro i had to show you that i'm human but i still get to the basket with contact and get the end one to go with the gatorade symbol and i'm still that guy bro i brought the team all the way back and close out the third quarter just to get subbed out at the beginning of the fourth quarter and we end up losing the game. I dropped 31, six and two. Hey, I guess that's the nature of the game, bro. I just gotta play it. Of course, man, as always, bro, I really appreciate y'all if you made it to this point in the video. Hey, listen, 
Let me know if y'all want me to continue this, bro. Of course, I could always drop a part two to 2K15 as well. But I thought this was dope, bro. I got all the way to the league, not missing a shot for real, for real, low key. And then I made it to my second game and I still cook. Hey, comment down below some of your favorite memories from 2K17, my career as well. Kind of rate the 2Ks in your opinion as well. I'm curious to hear y'all's opinion, bro. Let me know if y'all want me to play as a player as well as I did in other videos. I can make that happen on 2K17 as well. Like, no cap, bro. I legit had the most fun playing this game, bro. Like, 2K17 was a legit fun, bro. So as always, leave your boy a like, comment, share. And until next time, hey, go drink some water.